Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III motivates us and encourages us to simply just pray for the glory of God. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in over 25 foreign countries. He is the president of Gospel Light Society and Torch Ministries International. Now here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. This is broadcast number 518. As always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled, As I Bow My Head, by Melinda Tanner. I come to you every day and bow my head in prayer. I ask that you will forgive my sins and show me that you care. I ask that for my life, that your will become mine. As I bow my head in prayer, I'll ask this every time. I ask that you will bless my life and help my mind to learn the things of God and how to live. For this my heart does yearn. I promise to be faithful and also to be true. And every time I bow my head, I will, of course, think of you. And ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator verse from the Word of God today is Matthew 7, 7, which reads, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. I read that verse often because it was the verse that turned me on to prayer many years ago. Allow me to share with you some important points regarding this verse from Matthew Henry's commentary. When the dresser of the vineyard in Luke 13, 7 and 8 asked for a year's respite for the barren fig tree, he added, I will dig about it. God gives knowledge and grace to those that search the scriptures and wait at wisdom's gates and power against sin to those that avoid the occasions of it. We must not only ask but knock. We must come to God's door, must ask importunately, not only pray, but plead and wrestle with God. We must seek diligently. We must continue knocking, must persevere in prayer, and in the use of means, must endure to the end in the duty. Here is a promised annexed, our labor in prayer, if indeed we do labor in it, shall not be in vain. Where God finds a praying heart, he will be found a prayer hearing God. He shall give thee an answer of peace. The precept is threefold. Ask, seek, knock. There is precept upon precept, but the promise is sixfold line upon line for our encouragement because a firm belief of the promise would make us cheerful and constant in our obedience my prayer and my personal encouragement to you uh, today is this god is in heaven waiting to hear from us through prayer some think God is too busy with billions of people around the world to listen to their prayer. But God is interested. But God is inter interested. But God is interested. <clears throat> but God is interested.
but God is interested in hearing your prayer and he is waiting to answer your prayer so just pray our prayer motivator quote today is from John R. Mott he said from the day of Pentecost until the present time it has been necessary to be of one accord in prayer before the Spirit of God will work with mighty converting power our prayer motivator devotional today is part 49 of our series titled The Sin of Prayerlessness from that Prince of Prayer and my brother in Christ, Dr. John R. Rice, who is in heaven with the Lord right now. Former editor of the Sword of the Lord in Murfreesboro, Tennessee and best selling author of the book that we're using today prayer, asking, and receiving. He goes on to say, make a habit of praying through about every burden and problem that comes to you. Sometimes we cannot in one day get the full answer to a great prayer, but we can every day, I believe, get a sweet peace to know that God has heard us and that we left the thing in the hands of our Heavenly Father and He has smiled into our hearts and given us peace. You may not, as you pray in one given season, see the salvation of the man for whom you pray, but you can pray until you have sweet assurance that God has undertaken and will do the thing you desire. Or you can pray until God's Holy Spirit helps you see how you should modify your prayer to fit with the plan of God. This kind of praying will mean that you do not continue to bow down under anxieties and worries. Leave every worry, every anxiety with Jesus every day. <clears throat> now, friend, it is time for us to pray. Please remember the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for giving us the privilege of prayer. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And your Holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the glory, honor, and praise for all of it is due your name. We pray also that you would bless and guide and direct all of your servants, your pastors, church leaders, missionaries, evangelists around the world who stand for you and who are truly helping your people. We pray also, Lord, for three million people to come to know you as Savior through this ministry alone. Lord, we pray for the revival of your church, the healing of your families, the healing of this nation. And Lord, we pray also that you would save and give leadership and wisdom, guidance and direction to our president and to all governmental officials who run this country, as well as all other countries. And Lord, we pray for three people who sent in prayer requests our prayer ministry here at Gospel Light Society. We pray for Jonathan in India. Bless his ministry. We pray for Deborah in uh, America. Help her nephew, Rian, and her brother, Christopher, to be released from their drug addictions. Bring peace and harmony back into their convenience store business and bring all generational curses on her family and children. Lord, we pray for Earlene in Nigeria, be with her children, pastor, members of a church, her extended family, and have Earlene to have a closer and more intimate walk with you. Holy Father God, we pray now for the following people who have trusted you as Savior in their hearts. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen them in the faith and help them to grow in the faith and to become the Christians that you want them to be. Lord, we pray for Tina in Ohio, Buisari in South Africa, and Pahala in Indonesia. 
Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, today, for those who have come back to you through the preaching of your word, by the power of your Holy Spirit, who have recommitted their lives to you, we rejoice with them in their decision, and we pray that they would stand strong for you and never backslide again. We pray, Lord, for Rose in California. Minimal in the United Arab Emirates, and Alubu Kola in Nigeria. Bless all of them, Lord. We know that you're there, and you're here. And we commit these souls into your hands to do your will in their lives. Rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his host from them. Help them all to join to a local Bible-believing church. In Jesus Christ, the holy name we pray, and for his sake. Amen. We trust that this broadcast podcast is being a blessing and encouragement to you in helping you to pray, think, and do throughout your day and throughout your life. Our host, Daniel White III, has a book titled The Prayer Motivator, Inspiration, Encouragement, and Motivation to Pray So You Can Live Your Best Life. This book is filled with inspirational quotes and Bible verses on prayer and inspires readers to pray based on Jesus' words that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You can purchase the book online as an ebook for $2.99 or get the print version for $12.99 at prayermd.com. Your purchase of this book will help us continue to spread this message around the world for the glory of God. Now, here's Daniel White III with a closing word. Now, dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, your first prayer needs to be what we call the sinner's prayer. Please understand with me that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please understand with me that because of your sins, you deserve eternal punishment in hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. That is the bad news. And it is bad news indeed. But here is the good news. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today to save your soul, Please pray with me this simple prayer, mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved from hell and you're on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Until next time, my beloved, pray, think, do. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. If you would like for us to pray for you, please send your prayer request to gls at gospellightsociety.com. 
If you have questions about salvation, what to do after salvation, are looking for a good church home, or would like to read our pamphlet, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door, please visit GospelLightSociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on GospelLightWorldRadio.com, Live 365, BCNNRadio7.com, and on our Spanish station, EvangelioLasMundoRadio.com. It can also be downloaded on your iPhone, BlackBerry, Android, or other mobile device from iTunes, Google Play, BlackBerry Podcast, and other outlets. Tell your friends and family to tune in and discover the power of prayer. Now here's a song that will encourage you to pray. God bless. 